Hi everyone, welcome to Kitchen Moods. Today is pickles mood. Fermented foods are an essential staple in most of the cultures of the world. Without fermentation, we don't have access to the main source of probiotics. We need probiotics in order to keep bad gut bacteria in check. Probiotics or good gut bacteria will fight off bad bacteria like E. coli or uh, some types of yeasts as well. Probiotics also help maintain a healthy brain. They produce vitamin K2, which is essential for bone health. Fermented or pickled turnip is a staple in most of the Middle Eastern cultures. Very commonly consumed with dishes like kifte, kebab, or shawarma. And the reason why most of the cultures will consume fermented foods with meats is that it facilitates digestion, making the digestion process of heavy proteins like uh, meats and animal products a lot easier than without fermented foods. Today, I'll show you how to pickle or ferment turnips. Great superfood, very nutritious and also very delicious. First, we will wash thoroughly the turnips with running water and no soap. Depending on how fresh your turnips are, you can choose to peel them or not. Today, I am peeling my turnips because I saw some bruises and damages in the skin. Then I will cut the turnips in thick slices. The smaller the pieces are, the faster your turnip will ferment. Then I will put my turnips in a colander and add a tablespoon of sea salt, mix it well with the turnips and leave it sweat for a couple of hours. While I'm waiting for the turnips to sweat, I'm going to boil 750 milliliters of water. Then I will pour it in one and a half liter jar and leave it to cool down to room temperature. I will wash, peel and cut in small pieces one beetroot and I will use it to give the pinkish color to my turnips. Okay, so now my water has cooled down to room temperature and I have prepared two tablespoons of sea salt that I will add to uh, the water in my jar and I will mix well until the salt is completely dissolved in the water. So now the salt has completely dissolved, I'm going to start by adding the one uh, beet that I cut in small pieces. Now remember this is for color and be careful because this will have a very nasty stain on your clothes. Then I will start adding my turnips. Now I want to fill my jar completely until it reaches the top. The reason why we want to make sure turnips are completely covered in water is that probiotics are anaerobic bacteria. So they need to be completely uh, protected from any air. Otherwise, other bad bacteria and fungus will grow uh, instead of the probiotics. As I'm reaching the top of the jar, the water levels will keep on increasing. And I will keep on adding my turnips and pouring uh, and getting rid of the water, of the excess water as I go. I want to make sure that um, the jar is really stuffed with turnips. So, I want the water to be completely covering my turnips and I need to leave a little bit of space just before adding the lid because uh, the fermentation process will uh, might cause an overflow of water. Now what I usually do is I uh, put a double layer of paper towel underneath my jar, wherever I'm going to store it, uh, just in case there is an overflow of the water. And I will check it at least uh, every couple of days 
at the beginning for the first week or so just to make sure that it's bubbling well which means that the fermentation process started and to make sure that if there is any overflow from the water uh, I clean it and remove it after approximately two weeks, my turnips will be ready to be consumed. Hope you enjoyed it and until the next recipe.